Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Uh, so in this episode, I'm gonna work on uh, hopefully restoring the interior uh, finish of my car. I'm not gonna say restore completely, but hopefully greatly improve the interior look of the car. Uh, I think that just giving it a good detail is probably gonna make a night and day difference, but also I got some more pieces that I know are kind of worn out. Like my shift boot is disgusting. I don't know what happened to it, but it has like no leather uh, left, so. I got a new one. Also, mine doesn't have the aero trim on the inside. It has a wood trim. I actually have the aero trim that originally came with the car, but all the tabs are broken off on it. So the person I buy from put a wood one on there. So I'm gonna take that out. I got this one that looks like all the tabs are intact. Uh, and then if not, I can restore the other one just by plastic welding the tabs. Anyways, this is gonna go on. I got a new cup holder, because mine doesn't work. Um, and it's kind of nice. Not that these are super useful cup holders, but I know people always look for this when you go to resell them. So I'll fix that, even though I don't know how much I'll use it. I've actually found that the bit in the center console, like between the two seats, is like flat, and you can actually just put your coffee mug there and it doesn't tip over. Um, got a new steering wheel because mine is all peeling. It's actually amazing how much better this one feels. Uh, so I'll be replacing that. I think this one I noticed was like just starting to separate. I don't know why they do this. I'm guessing that the Texas heat probably doesn't help. Uh, so I might glue that just a little bit before I put it on. But anyways, this one is in much better shape. Uh, the only issue is this is a 2007 steering wheel. So the steering wheel buttons are different than my 2006. But it looks like these just pop off and there's electrical connectors. So hopefully I can switch everything over. And then, an astute viewer noticed last time that my clutch squeaks uh, inherently or excessively. Uh, so I'm gonna try and fix that. I did a lot of research, or first off, I just lubricate every single moving part in the entire clutch mechanism, um, clutch propeller mechanism, and didn't help at all. If, if anything, it made it worse. Uh, so I guess the one thing I kind of found online in the forums is just the spring itself can start squeaking. Uh, so I got a new spring, it was only like 30 bucks. Uh, and also I guess there's like a little clip that holds the spring. Uh, it's like the clutch pedal, like arm or whatever, clutch arm. Uh, I guess these are known for breaking and eventually your spring will just fall out. Uh, so I guess this is a known failure when I went ahead and bought one of these two. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Not really sure where I'm gonna start. Uh, probably replace everything before I, um, before I detail it, and then just one thing with the steering wheel is definitely make sure you disconnect your battery before you try and uh, remove the steering wheel because if you short out the airbag, explosion, yeah. All right, with that, let's get to it. So I got the old spring out. Um, the spring is actually in its release date when the clutch is pushed backwards. So I found it, it was easiest to get it out with pushing it forwards and then you can compress the spring enough to pull it out. Um, and then that yellow tab up there is the clip that breaks so that you can just pry out with the screwdriver. And this whole spring is pretty, uh, almost looks like someone's tried to lubricate this before, but I'm gonna do the same thing for the new one where plastic bit inside, make sure. You can see on the new one, there's a little bit of graphite in here that looks like, obviously that's to lubricate it. So hopefully that's where the noise is coming from because the spring itself isn't, uh, isn't making any noise.
now have one problem fixed. Clutch does not squeak anymore. It's weird, the spring almost feels lighter than the one that was in there. I'm not sure I'm super happy about that. But I guess on a daily driver, having a light clutch is okay. And like I said before, it's important to disconnect the battery before messing around with the airbag. If you have a new steering wheel, it's a good idea to practice removing the pins that hold the airbag in place as they're quite tricky. There's a small Allen wrench because there's not much space between here and the dashboard. But eventually with enough finicking and that's saying I got it. Steering wheel off, it's just a eight millimeter um, not here. Sorry I didn't film doing it. Um, the airbag connectors, I couldn't figure out how to get those off so it was, everything was hanging so I didn't have an extra hand. I don't know how these connectors work. You just use a little screwdriver to pry up on that and it pops out. And then you can remove this. <sighs> a small cut in the shift boot in order to get it off and slide it over the gear knob. The only way to get the gear knob off since it's glued on is to completely destroy it. And since mine's in okay condition, I elected to leave it intact. The plan is to sew the new shift boot on afterwards. Here you can see the Fadsho sewing operations specialist using a seam ripper to separate the factory seam on the shift boot we later used an upholstery needle to sew it back together. Moving on to replacing the cup holder, you can either come from the top down or if you're lucky like me to not have OnStar, you can come from the bottom up like I chose. So 
So using a trim removal tool, I was able to pop the faceplate off. And then I used two screwdrivers on the top to push down these pins. Now looks like those two front pins are free. I just have to get the back one and then it should pop out. So it definitely can be done without removing this. Not really sure if it's easy or not. Definitely is a little uneasy. There's a lot of uh, creaking plastic. And I found out why my cup holder doesn't work. It's completely broken in half. And success, remove that uh, last pin or clip with the long screwdriver and now this is out. This car is nasty. And yeah, there's my broken off coupler. Here's what the internals look like with the casing split apart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up everything the best I can um, with some simple green. And then once it's clean, I'll go ahead and put a bunch of silicone grease in here. Uh, maybe a little actual grease on there, not just the spray. And uh, hopefully it operates a little bit. So I basically cannibalized the two of these and I found that the spring that was in the broken one it seems like it's a lot more stout than this old this spring in here. So I'm gonna change this spring out, still clean everything and leave everything up and then put it back together. So kind of just cannibalizing the parts between the two of them to make the best combination. Now that I've fixed all the broken bits, it was time to just give the car a significant deep clean. You could tell that the car had not been detailed in a very long time. When I used the steam cleaner, you could actually watch the dirt just melting out of the plastic.
So that's pretty much it uh, for this episode. I pretty much completed everything that I wanted to. Pretty much the only, the only thing I really have left is to clean the uh, glass on the windows and then put the floor mats back in. Uh, but I'm really happy with how everything came out. It was a lot of work, but definitely looks a thousand times better. Of course, I forgot to take like a before picture, but I'll try and find something maybe from an old video and uh, put that in. And then the after walkthrough that I did, I think it's pretty uh, night and day myself. I uh, look forward to driving the car and uh, I don't know, probably won't, obviously it doesn't make any difference for driving, but I'm sure it will feel a little bit better just with the steering wheel not falling apart in your hands and uh, everything. Uh, so pretty happy with how it came out. And then while I had the car in the garage, I decided to make one more attempted fix. Uh, the transmission casing that's uh, been leaking oil ever since I cleaned the transmission and removed all the gunk that I guess was holding the seal together. Uh, it's been weeping oil, so <laughs> I put some flex seal on it. So we'll see uh, how that does. It's not a long-term fix. I am planning on RTVing it. I just don't have the right RTV for that right now. So I had to order some. So we'll see what the flex seal does. I'll leave it there until it starts leaking again. Uh, you can uh, leave in the comments how long you think it's gonna last or if it's gonna even work at all. Put a fresh paper towel and cardboard bar box under it. So I'm gonna leave it for like 24 hours. And if you're really curious, then the next time I'll post back on the, how it how it's doing so yeah it was a lot of work but definitely happy with how it came out and uh i mean this is pretty much ending the or nearing the end of everything that i had scheduled for the car i mean yeah the, there's a few minor things like the rear brakes eventually need done they're not super bad yet but eventually i'll get around and doing that and then also the fuel sender is bad i don't really care i'll probably fix it before i sell the car but for right now. I'm just gonna save it till when I get bored and wanna tackle that. The rear tail light I still need to replace. I have a new one. Probably take me 20 minutes to do it, but I need to get around to that. That's pretty much it. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, everything's more or less uh, done with the car. Oh, yeah, and of course the one thing that I don't really care about at all, but I'm gonna need to get done before I replace it is the arrow lip spoiler. Uh, I just hate, I've never done any paint work before. Uh, or dealing with like a paint shop or whatever. So that's kind of what I'm, my reservation for that right now is I just don't want to figure out uh, how to get that done. But eventually I'll get that done in the fuel center and then it'll be 100% where I want it. All right, uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you really liked, then go ahead and like and subscribe and stay tuned for next time. Thank you, bye.